Hello everyone and welcome back to A Swift Look. I'm Zoe and boy do we have so much to cover today. Travis Kelsey back at the Eras tour, Taylor Swift just basically performing a private concert for Travis himself. Like so much to dive into, so many things that have happened. I do wanna say before we get into today's show that if you hear some construction noises, some drilling, there is construction going on above me. So just apologies in advance if there's some strange noises. <laughs> That's what that is. Okay, let's jump in to the show. Paris Night 4 recap. On Friday's show, I recapped Paris Night 1, which was the first time we got the new Torture Poets Department set when we found out what songs she was going to sing, what songs she cut, all that good stuff. She then went on to perform three more shows. Now, nights two and three looked amazing, looked fantastic, but we're really going to focus on night four because not only was it the final night of the Paris shows, but Travis Kelsey was in attendance. And whenever Travis Kelsey is in attendance for any sort of Taylor Swift show, it's just, there's a special something in the air whenever Travis is in attendance. And Taylor showed up and showed out for her man, Mr. Travis Kelsey. Okay, so let's get into it. Let's start from the beginning. As I mentioned, obviously, Travis was there. He was there with his best friend, Ross, who I'm sure many people know now. He is Travis's bestie. He was with Taylor a lot, actually, during the football season at Chiefs games. He went with Travis to Taylor's show in, um, where was, that? oh, Sydney, I believe. Um, he also was with them when Travis brought his, like, a big group of friends to Singapore for Taylor's shows. Like, he, he has been by Travis's side and also Taylor's side. Like, he is a true friend through and through for both Travis and also for Taylor. So he was there. Bradley Cooper and Gigi Hadid were there. And we know, we know that those two have a close relationship with Taylor and with Travis. They went on that double date weekend away uh, during the Torture Poets Department release weekend. They went to Monterey, California together. So they have a nice friendship going on. Uh, and they were not in the VIP tent. They were up in a suite, which I feel like well, for their sake, it was probably pretty nice. Um, we didn't get like as close of videos and of content because they were in this private suite kind of far, far away. But because they were far away and also up high, it felt like more people could actually see them. Uh, and so we did get a good amount of content of not just Travis, but Bradley and Gigi. And honestly, I just have to say, before we get into the Travis of it all, Bradley Cooper and Gigi Hadid were hilarious. I was living for Gigi's dancing. I was honestly living for Bradley's dancing. It was it was so funny. I urge you, if you have not already gone onto a Taylor Swift fan page, whether it's on Instagram, Twitter, go on it and just watch all the videos because you will not only see great Taylor content and Travis content, but you'll also see a lot of really great Bradley and Gigi content, which I found to be very entertaining. Um, and not just Bradley and Gigi were there, but Lenny Kravitz was there. I feel like people have been completely ignoring the fact that Lenny Kravitz was in attendance, obviously an incredible musician, artist, celebrity. He's also the father of Zoe Kravitz, who is one of Taylor's very good friends. So makes sense that he was there. Okay, let's get into some of the major moments that occurred. Starting off with, for me, what was a huge moment? Taylor Swift popping out for that 1989 set in a full Chiefs outfit, okay? And say what you want. I've, I've seen some people saying that it's not a Chiefs outfit. It's a Chiefs outfit. She was wearing a gold top and a red skirt. Now, some people think it's orange. It's red. I, I'm saying that it's a red skirt or at the very least, a red-orange skirt. It's a Chiefs outfit. It's a 100% Chiefs outfit. I am obsessed. I love it so much. I It still blows my mind that Taylor is not only dating Travis Kelsey and is not only like a fan now of the Chiefs, which is my like childhood hometown team, but that she's now like repping Chiefs colors during her world tour. It's, it's just crazy. It's amazing. I was obsessed. Um, 
And a lot of people have been saying that Taylor just needs to do, she needs to just add a secret show or like a special show in Kansas City um, because there's just, the energy is so strong right now that I feel like if Taylor Swift in Kansas City performs with, with Kansas City fans wearing her Chiefs outfit, you know, singing Karma is the guy on the Chiefs, like it would just be a moment for everybody to soak in. It would be incredible. So loved the outfit. Definitely was a nod to Travis. Also, we know Travis's favorite album is 1989. He himself was born in 1989. So like, it just all makes sense. Loved it. Another thing. So a lot of fans on social media prior to the show noticed and called out the fact that this was going to be Taylor's 87th show. Now, typically 87, that's just a random number, but it's Travis Kelsey's number, his jersey number. And a lot of people were wondering, is Taylor going to call out the fact that this is her 87th show? And she did. She did. Right before her surprise songs, she said, you guys, this is my 87th show, which Again, for some people, wouldn't be that shocking, but 87 is a random number. It's it's one thing to acknowledge your 50th show, your 100th show, but to pick 87, that was definitely a nod towards Travis Kelsey. And then she proceeded to sing The Alchemy, which is one of the Travis Kelsey songs on Tortured Poets Department. It was just so perfect. And she mashed it up with Treacherous, which is one of my absolute favorite Taylor Swift songs of all time. Probably top five Taylor Swift songs of all time. So the combination of those two, I was just like, this is absolutely incredible. It felt like she was serenading Travis Kelsey. Like she picked, obviously she picks all of her songs very intentionally, but there was a very pointed reason why she picked the alchemy to sing. She then did Begin Again, with some elements of Paris in there. Um, just chef's kiss, loved it, incredible. She was blowing kisses to Travis throughout the evening. I believe she did it during the So High School song. I think she did it in the 1989 set as well. Um, there were videos of, there was tons of videos of Travis dancing. And Travis has always been like the best hype man, right? Like dancing, just vibing. He just seems to always be having a great time we love to see it. There was a shot though that I saw of Travis filming Taylor. I think it was during the transition between, or when she was transitioning into um, I Can Do It With A Broken Heart. Uh, and he's filming her with the flash of his camera fully on, which is like such a dad move, um, but also so cute and so sweet. And like, I also feel like Travis, I don't know if other people have noticed this, but like, I feel like when Travis is at these concerts, he's never on his phone. I feel like he's never like off in a corner, like scrolling. He's He just is enjoying the moment, living it up, having a great time, which you just love to see. I just thought that was so cute. She of course did Karma is the Guy on the Chiefs, as she always does when Travis is in attendance. And I just, I've said this before, but we need to just permanently make the lyric Karma is the Guy on the Chiefs, like just full on. And I feel like the fans have adopted that and now they always say it no matter what, but I feel like Taylor just needs to just commit to saying karma is the guy on the Chiefs forevermore because it's just, it it is what it is now. So we just have to accept it and add it permanently into the uh, lyrics. Travis then came down like he always does. Again, he always comes down at the very end of the show like while she's performing karma to go be able to meet her backstage. Um, and so pe fans and people saw him walking down um, kind of standing side stage uh, while she was wrapping up the tour. He was like high-fiving fans who were clearly so happy to see him. There was a, um, a video I saw of a fan in the front row wearing a Travis Kelsey jersey and Travis went up and gave that person a hug and acknowledged them, which I thought was so sweet. Um, and I just, I think, and I've said this a thousand times, I feel like Travis just, he handles it so well because he, obviously people that are so happy to see him and so excited to see him and he, he wants people to feel acknowledged and he wants people to, he, he doesn't want to ignore those people, but he does everything in a way that doesn't take attention away from Taylor or doesn't make it seem like, oh, Travis is just here for the attention. Like he's very kind and gracious to the fans and to people, but he definitely makes sure that 
the focus is on Taylor and what she's doing on stage. And I think he makes it very clear, like, I'm here to support her. Uh, I'm not here to, like, be the star of the show. And I think Taylor does a good job of that when they're at, when she goes to Chiefs games. Like, she very, is very much, I'm here to support him. And this is his, his moment. Um, so they just do that so perfectly. And I don't know, they just have, they have this thing down. They just know how to handle it. I think it's incredible. I loved it. We didn't get a, you know, behind the stage shot of them hugging, kissing, whatnot, which, you know, it's okay. We've, we've gotten that before and I'm happy they were able to have a private moment together. Um, so all in all, looked like an incredible show. Now Taylor has a handful of days off. Um, she plays in Sweden on Friday. So that's basically how her tour is going to go is she's going to play on weekends and then she's going to have like four, three or four days off in the middle of the week. And then that's just going to continue basically throughout the summer. So it makes sense for Travis to come like on the tail end of a, a run of shows. And then he can now spend you know, four days with Taylor free. Um, and I'm assuming they're going to do stuff in France. I could see them having a nice romantic getaway somewhere, um, probably also with maybe Bradley Gigi. Um, so this is the start of Taylor's and <laughs> Travis's too, their European summer. Uh, I'm sure we're going to get lots of great content over the course of the next few months. As I mentioned, we're now in the stage two where we're gonna get a lot of celebrities at shows because celebrities love nothing more than going to Europe in the summer. Like it is, I mean, everybody does. Who doesn't wanna go to Europe in the summer? But celebrities are flocking to Europe in the summer. So I think we're gonna get a lot of celebrities at shows over the next few months. And there's just gonna be so much to cover and so much to talk about. So I would love to know in the comments what your favorite part of the show was, what your favorite moment was. Were you shocked by any of the surprise songs? Uh, which surprise song were you most jealous of? For me, it was Treacherous. Um, just share all your thoughts. I wanna hear every single one of them. As always, if you love Taylor Swift, please subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.